Hi, my name is Elizabeth South. I'm a private investigator with Kane Associates Investigations. Today, I have been told there are two people in this lineup who have dated. I'm gonna try to figure out who it is and uh, see if there's any chemistry left. Maybe they can rekindle. My interrogation skills are really good. Given the circumstances, it's not a typical uh, interrogation, obviously. So we'll see on the spot how I can do with this. Let's get into the questioning. Let's still we'll start over here. You two come up here. Oh, what a cute couple. Have you guys ever done this before? Walked together before? A few times in the past. You always let him take the lead like that? <laughs> sometimes. Are you just quiet type? Yeah, sometimes. Are you just submissive when it comes to relationships? You're just like, you can do the talking? I wouldn't say I'm submissive, no. Would you say she's submissive? No, but she's like, she's very lenient. She's super chill about it. Tell me about how you guys met. So we met uh, at the office. He uh, was really good at design, and so I asked him to design one of my photos for me to like clean it up, make it look pretty for like a thumbnail, and he did a really good job. Really? So we just kept talking after that. Because I would have thought he would have said, no, sweetie, you really don't need any touch-ups. I'm gonna move this hair over here. You're beautiful. It's <laughs> a good point, but they actually the thumbs weren't of me. They're like things that I made of someone else for a video. So tell me about the breakup. This was about maybe six months ago. No, it wasn't. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. This was about three months ago. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> maybe two months ago. <laughs> About six months ago, in the past we had hit it off just right, but I mean, six months ago, just in the workspace, it's not really professional and like we weren't really vibing as much, so we kind of just came to agreement just to keep it a friendship. How do you we feel didn't want to that? conflict with thumbnail making. I was whatnot. actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's better to keep it professional, you know, because we work together. All right, well, you lenient too. Go ahead and step up there. I'm gonna take these next two. Obviously, you're nervous about something. You have something to hide. You're wearing sunglasses. He's nervous to be around me. Uh, yeah, he's like, I could cry and I don't want someone to see it. Okay, it was I a rough you. breakup, all right? No, it wasn't a rough breakup. I don't know if dating is like really the word. We like mm. hooked up a couple times. He slid into my Insta DMs and then we. <laughs> I, I'm new Hold to this. On I'm new. <laughs> Hold on a second. I, come on, I feel like it's easier to just say it. Did you guys practice this earlier? No. <laughs> Why would we practice? I mean, oh, I don't know. No, I think you might, Merle. Some place no, yeah. that you slid into my Insta DMs. Oh, whatever. That's what somebody who slides into DMs says. I just said hi. That's all I'm just saying. So your original <laughs> and not very yeah. charming on DMs, <laughs> hi. Yeah. That's why it didn't work. Well, I mean, I said more than hi. Well, it worked in the beginning, now. obviously. I mean, it didn't long work term. out because you, if we want to get into this. I sent her a picture of a hamburger, and she got real mad at me. Your voice is quivering. It's not because you're crying. It's you're I'm trying, trying not, not to laugh. laugh. Uh. So you guys were obviously very in love, and this was heartbreaking. <laughs> the hamburger was like the breaking point. It wasn't just that was why was, we stopped She thought that I was being insensitive. Oh, she's one of those vegans. I'm not, I'm though. Not. I'm he showed not. me a hamburger! <laughs> it felt like an aggressive hamburger. <laughs> you know, if you guys didn't date, though, I do want to say this. You should consider it, because I sense some chemistry here. So either it was there, and it's still there, and you're not honest about it for one of you. Well, you guys hooked up. Maybe there's chemistry, but not the... I want to see you for a long period of time. How'd you break up? Text we, messages. Yeah, we did. <laughs> but it was like, come on, it wasn't like a serious thing, so it wasn't like, I hate it you. It really was. It was like, see you at work on Monday. You and your sunglasses can go up there. And your little crocodile tears. And Merle, you can stand up there too. Okay. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah. All right, you two come down here. If you two are together, you either hate each other, you have terrible chemistry. Y'all like stand this far apart, walk. You don't even pull her seat out. Was it that bad of a breakup? Kind of like them, casual thing. So it wasn't really much of a big or bad breakup. He was one of those people <laughs> where I realized that like, okay, I can't do this casual stuff anymore. I think it was romanticized. So it was a short thing. One you of look those kind of romantic. Things. I have my See, moments. that's what I thought. He has very genuine eyes. He could be romantic and tell you something unexpected. See, exactly. You got okay. it. Okay, so what first attracted you to him? I mean, pretty much everything you just said. Look at those eyeballs, they're huge and blue. How we met's kind of weird. Um, I was actually dating someone else at the time. He was at this party and uh, we kind of were flirting. And again, a casual thing, so it was like kind of drunk. How did you guys meet? Tell me about your interaction. I was alone and, you know, I'm kind of a natural flirt. So I saw a cute girl standing by the drinks and I was just like, sure, let's go talk to her. Say hi, see what's up. Liked her and got to know her, didn't realize she had a boyfriend. And then she actually reached out to me um, a week later. How'd she reach out to you? Texted. I think she got the number from a friend. And what'd you text him? I'm gonna get coffee. Get coffee? Where'd you guys get coffee? Phil's. Phil's where? Phil's in, was it Hollywood? Yeah, there's one in Hollywood, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah, on Sunset. Sunset, yeah. There's one in Hollywood, right? That's where we had There's it, like right? There's like two or three fills. It was very memorable for you which fills it was at, by the way. That's, that's I, mean, I, go, I go to fills a lot. Yeah, we it's also my favorite coffee. Didn't last, Obviously. So. The problem with like, you know, two, three month relationships is that they're not the most memorable. Jeez. Wow, if, if you guys dated, I. Okay. <clears throat> I need to go take a shower because that just hurt me even. <laughs> Stand up. I may bring you guys back with some other people. Okay. 
could I have you down here? Uh-huh. And then could I have you back here? All right, so how'd you guys meet? Uh, here. <laughs> okay, stand back up. Um, all right, so how was the breakup? All right, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I feel casual. Like... How did you meet, actually, not just how you broke up. That was kind of mean to go straight to that. We also met at a party through a mutual friend and then just started talking and, yeah. Stayed in touch. Where's the party at? Beverlywood. That's where it was supposed to be. I'm new here, so I still gotta kind of get the you know areas. Where's he from? He's also from uh, New York. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I <stand> back <laughs> <up>. <laughs> All right, let me see who haven't I gotten. Okay, why don't uh, Merle, you and you come sit down here? You look like I don't want to sit down here. Uh, right yeah. now. The shoes. Thank you. Pants. Yeah. They're new. Nice. Some yeah. girls get their hair done, she buys new vans. I actually bought five pairs of vans. Really? After the breakup? I paid the two. Yeah, I mean, it's not because of the breakup, it happened to happen after <clears throat> the breakup. <clears throat> okay, Merle. So, how did you guys meet? Hinge. Ah, stand back up! <laughs> I don't think I've had you and you together. Here, come down here. All right. <clears throat> What's his name? Mitch. Mitch, what's her name? Emily. What's his last name? Salvedra. What's her last she name? She always botches my last name. Always. What's her last Trio. name? Trio? Mm -hmm. How long have you guys known each other? Couple months. Does that upset you when she's answering questions? A little bit. I mean, the breakup was kind of rough. <laughs> Try to say it without smiling. Try to convince me a little bit right now, okay? <laughs> All right, so uh, how'd you guys meet? How did we meet? Well, on <laughs> Slack. Okay, they're bad at this. <laughs> you guys go ahead and stand my cap. <laughs> you and you together down here. What's your name? Nick. Her name's Nick? I, I thought you said your name. <laughs> Her name's Liz. Liz, all right. And what's his name? Nick. Last name? Coelho. Well, if you guys hooked up, that must have been very low speaking resonation. Nobody, nobody can pronounce my like, last name. Yeah, he's See you later. My last name's hard to pronounce. <laughs> so why don't you try to convince me and tell me about how you guys met? Also Hinge. <clears throat> okay. Met on Hinge. I actually messaged him first, and we started talking. He asked me on a date. Where'd you guys go? The first date was just drinks, and we bandied around a couple different ideas. We wound up going to Isabel on Fairfax. Where did you sit in, Isabel? Uh, there's like a table in the back. In the back? That we sat at, yeah. Okay, so when you go in, you go right, left, or back. So I'm pretty familiar with Isabel. Went in just straight ahead. Okay. Yeah. Straight ahead. Straight ahead all the way to the back. I got a grapefruity type drink. Tell me about the patio outside. It's really dark, uh -huh. and it's cool because there's like trees on the inside, but not on the outside. There's like, it's really cushy chairs that are also really nice, and they're like leather. And then on the inside, it's white chairs. And tell me about the bathroom, because I know you went to the bathroom. Mm, the bathroom was <laughs> it's pretty memorable really bathroom. nice. <laughs> Had a tile floor, I think. Oh, great, okay. <laughs> Let's see, have I had everyone else down here? Yeah, yeah, I need you with her. Go ahead and stand up. So how'd you guys meet? Mark. I moved to this office from the New York office. She that's did. the truth. I like it, like, and that's the truth. That is the, that is the final <laughs> word. The rest of it's bullshit in case you want Anything else I say. Okay, and then where's she from? She's from Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> Mississippi. What city in Mississippi are you from? Um, Ooh. the one that's really popular that everyone knows. Oh, that's so great. You guys can stand back up. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite thing about her? What was your favorite thing about her that attracted you to her? Like a personality thing or a physical thing? Well, if you guys didn't know each other that long and it didn't last that long, how'd you get two months? Like, Long enough. It's probably like six times, seven times. We hung out a lot. Yeah. I don't know. It wasn't a, lot a long for a, time. A lot for a while. Okay, yeah. where does she, like, a, like a where lot. she live? She lives in West Hollywood too. <laughs> where do you live? I actually do live in West Hollywood. All right, what street? I forget. Oh, that is so interesting. You forget where you live? Santa Monica. <laughs> All okay. right. Okay, yeah, they know. So you guys definitely are not together. All right, sit down here, fine. Switch it out. I don't really see you guys again. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are. All right, where does he live? He lives in Los Feliz. Los Feliz? Yeah. Who does he live with? Roommate, I think from college. I used to, yeah. I live with my parents now. Is that what broke you guys up? His parents? He moved in with his parents. Yeah, my parents didn't like her. I would. <laughs> How'd you guys meet? I DM'd her because she posted something about like vegan food on her story, and I've always wanted to try like ve like trying to be vegan for a little bit. So I just wanted to see like like how, what the lifestyle is and if it really is expensive as people say it is. People ask me all the time about like vegan recipes and stuff. Well, I feel like that's a really good move if that's what happened because you know somebody would be think it's really cute they're interested in something other than better than high. I was yeah. <laughs> So I slid into her DMs, what'd you say? Uh, yes. I forgot what she posted, but she I was like, oh, I've, like, I've always wanted to try like something vegan. Like, 
what is it that you're making right now or something? I honestly, it was, it was a while ago. I don't remember the deal. It was from this restaurant, Honey Bee. It's like this new vegan place in Los Feliz. I also live in Los Feliz, not West Hollywood. They have the Impossible Double Patty Burger there and I posted a photo and I was like, did you make that? And I was like, no, you can't buy the Impossible Patty. But you can. No, you can't. You can buy the Beyond Burger, but the Impossible Patty, you can only get at restaurants. Where'd you go on your date? We went to a park and had some lunch. Like a little picnic type of thing. Oh, did you pack the picnic? She, I packed, cute. I packed beef, which kind of upset her. <laughs> not, not, not hey, coming come in on. strong. Come on, you have to do better than that on this. Oh, I don't, I didn't know any thing. vegan recipes, so I wasn't gonna. You're never gonna bring gonna beef taste. to meet a vegan, especially if you DM her. Oh, I like any vegan recipes. Let's and go if on I a picnic. To make something vegan, I'll bring beef. Some. She packed it. Okay, you guys, your story <laughs> sucks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, stand back up. Have I had you? I've had you with all the girls. No. You haven't. Been, okay, come sit down here. Tell me about your love story. <laughs> we met at a music festival through work. What kind of music? Uh, it was called Lightning in a Bottle. They had like every type of music. I love Lightning in a Bottle. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Really? We're, so how'd you guys meet there? We actually went down together because we were helping each other with videos. Mm -hmm. I actually had not met her before. You're just always yeah, like, no, yeah, yeah, and that's right. Well, it's and accurate. Did. I don't know what to say. Well, okay, tell me about it. So she was uh, helping me film a video, and so that's kind of how we started to get to know each other. Uh, but then we had like the last day free to like actually experience the festival, and that's how we kind of started hanging out. Yeah, I, I believe that you guys actually did go to a music festival together. Okay, you do kind of look sad right now, though. Now I feel <laughs> kind of guilty. How did you break up? We just kind of talked about it in person, and Merle explained to me that like, you know, she's newly single, and she like wants to explore that, and like didn't want anything serious, and like we had this strong connection, so we didn't want to like continue it because I'm looking for something more serious and she's like not really there yet. So if this is a lie, like I'm feeling really emotional. I feel like it's these girls right now. These girls are like right now so genuine and if they're not, then like I give up. Maybe I should just stop PI work if you guys weren't the ones together. Uh, yeah, maybe I'm stupid, but I'm ready to stop. I feel like I know who it is. I feel like the investigation went really well. I caught a lot of people for sure. Uh, who are lying. I feel pretty confident about my choice of people who are dating or who, who used to date. Merle and Liz, would you please step forward? Were you two ever dating? No, but we're very good friends. <laughs> oh my God. That was how we met. <laughs> yeah. So that was all real, like the things you did, because I was like, no, this is all real. Okay, reveal yourselves. Really? It was you two. We did go to Isabel. <laughs> yeah. You know, and you didn't even mention the stairs outside of Isabel, the I, bathroom, all the great photos. You didn't even know what food you have. A great fruity drink. That was a cheap shot. Yes. <laughs> I figured if I didn't know what I was talking about, you would think that we weren't together. So you didn't tell me the truth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're supposed to tell me the real story. This was, it. seriously, this is, no, no, no. If you're gonna play the game, you gotta tell me the real story. You can't lie about somebody and the things you didn't do with them, so. That was messed up. Now, okay, there is some chemistry over here. I just want you guys to know. But you guys, you guys are really, you seem like really good friends, and I could have believed that you guys totally hooked up. I mean, who knows? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs>